You mortals are the most wrathful creatures in existence. In The War Within, we find Zalatath is using the black blood to force the Nerubians into ascendancy, twisting their bodies and their minds into something more suitable for her own ends. Throughout the story of Ajkahet, we unravel the secrets of these ascendants, and we see how their personalities change, and they abandon their once friends among the unchanged Nerubians. We see the sadness and pain of those unwillingly transformed, and the complete loss of self that can take part when Zalatath wants to take over their mind completely. While the Black Blood is currently a major plot point of this expansion, it's not the first time we've seen the blood of the Old Gods used for similar ends. I'd like to take you all on a little journey to see some other places it's been used in the past. The Old Gods are immense and ancient beings, known for spreading their corruption and madness across Azeroth, even from within their Titan prisons, and sometimes even when they're dead. We've got a few of them, so let's start with... Cthune. While we don't directly see any references to blood with Cthune, you could argue that the giant crystals around Silithus, along with the Silithus crystal dust that we have to gather so that our factions can study it, could be very early examples of the blood that we see in the future, which very commonly hardens into an ore. yog -Suron. The most prominent examples of blood that we have are in Wrath of the Lich King, which of course, the blood of the lucid dream, the monster in your nightmares, the beast with a thousand maws, the fiend of a thousand faces, the god of death, that which must not be named, but we're gonna name him anyway, yog -Suron. His blood runs through the entire continent of Northrend, which is similar to what we're seeing in the culmination of the War Within story so far. His blood is a huge part of the story of Wrath. Originally, his blood seeping from his prison is what allowed him to corrupt and influence the Keepers that were his jailers, turning Loken against his fellow Keepers. We see solidified nodes of his blood near the entrance to Asjol Nerub, where it is very unambiguously called the Black Blood of yogg -Saron. We also see dwarves mining similar blood in the Howling Fjord, and their effect on them is obvious. The dwarves are delirious and paranoid, terrified of it and that which must not be named. And if we stay in that area long enough ourselves, we hear the same whispers that they do, making us doubt our own sanity. Some of the whispers that we hear are, They are coming for you. Tell yourself again that these are not truly your friends. You are a pawn of forces unseen. It was your fault. There is no escape, not in this life, not in the next. They have turned against you. Now, take your revenge. Kill them all before they kill you. Give in to your fear. Further throughout Wrath, we find out that most people call this hardened version of the blood Saronite. This metal was primarily used by the Scourge, making war machines, weapons, and basically all the towers and walls of Ice Crown Citadel. The metal is described as breathing by the orc blacksmith Boris Ironbender. This metal was later used to forge the weapons and armor of the Knights of the Ebon Blade, which is the playable Death Knight faction. Saronite in all forms typically caused paranoia and insanity after long exposure due to the Old God's influence. Yashiraj. While Yashiraj was mostly dead through Mists of Pandaria, we still encounter his blood in the Dark Heart of Pandaria scenario. Here it is the same as the other gods, seeping out into the caverns around him despite his heart being contained in a titan prison. If you don't know, the Horde ends up getting the heart and Garrosh had a good munch on it, getting him all god-powered for a bit, and I'd say that the heart was probably still full of blood, so I'm happy to blame that on the blood too. Nazoth. Nazoth is the god of the deep, the corrupter, the deep one. This guy, while apparently being the weakest of the old gods, he was definitely one of the hardest working. Creating the Naga, Deathwing, and by extension the Cataclysm, the Enrod Nightmare, along with his brother Yogg, and then bringing Nihilotha and the Black Empire back, at least for a few days. We see Nazoth's machinations throughout Battle for Azeroth, and we even see some more black blood inside the Shrine of the Storm's dungeon, which is full of squid men working for Nazoth, getting all corrupted and causing trouble. Outland. We even see some black blood in the shattered remnants of Draenor, known as Outland. In Shadowmoon Valley, we can see undead Arakoa channeling on a ghostly form of an old god, apparently attempting to summon it into reality. When we journey into the mines on Netherwing Ledge, we find the black blood of Draenor, which isn't really explained a whole heap in the game, but I think it would fit well with an old god that existed within Draenor, who unfortunately got ripped apart along with the planet as it morphed into Outland, leaving just some of his blood hanging around in a cave, while some old Arakoa worshippers tried to res him. So, that brings us back to the War Within, where we find Zalatath has been using the black blood to ascend the Nerubians into squishy little humanoid forms, although they do become very speedy. 
We are also easily affected by his blood, just by breaking it out of the canisters they're storing it in, or by going for a dip in one of the many pools of blood, we get slowly shifted into the unseeming, allowing us to see creatures that live there, or for them to see us. The non-void creatures seem quite relieved to die when we kill them, and the faceless one lets us know that here they are eternal. So perhaps we're getting a glimpse into the void's realm. We aren't sure whose black blood Zalatath has been using. Some have theorized that it's the blood of Cthune dripping down, his massive body being pierced by the sword through Silithus. It could be a bloody secretion from Belladar's void state, or perhaps even Zalatath's blood if it turns out she was the fifth old god after all. She does like to say, All to fuel the black blood's power. My power. But that could just be for dramatic effect as well. Regardless of that, we also get shown that the black blood is everywhere in Ashkehet, which isn't the best thing for those poor Nerubians or anybody fighting the void down there, but it is very reminiscent of yogg blood being all throughout Northrend as well. That's about it regarding the black blood. Hopefully we get some more good reveals on that, maybe in the raid or in some future patches. If you enjoyed these kind of lore vids, let me know. I'd like to do some more of them along with some dungeon and seasonal stuff once all that kicks off. Thanks for watching and have a great day.